Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. Today we're going to be talking about various mods and custom content you can use to spice up your Sims love lives. It's the cosy time of year after all, so why not invest some time in making sure your Sims are keeping each other warm. I will leave a link to all of the things I mention in this list in the video description, so if you want to get your hands on it, you need look no further. I'm going to be listing a mixture of mods, build and buy objects, and create a sim items. So let's begin. The Vibrating Love Bed. What could be a more perfect one to start with than the Vibrating Love Bed? An item that was first introduced in The Sims 1, and an object that has become somewhat of a staple in The Sims franchise. For some unknown reason though, this object wasn't included in The Sims 4, despite it being in earlier games. Well, thankfully for us, a very kind modder has recreated the bed, and now you can have it in your game. Happy humping, guys! The Simda Dating App Get your single Sims out there. With the Simda Dating App on their phone, they'll have a chance at love at their fingertips. All they need to do is open the app and just like that, they can get themselves a date. And there are so many options. You can choose a specific sim to go on a date with. You don't even need your sim to have met them before and they can also go on blind dates with the options of male blind date, female or both. So you can choose exactly what you want. The Lingerie Collection. I love this Intimates collection. The pieces are really pretty and perfect for date night. This is one of my favourite custom content packs and it has so much in it. You have lots of different variants of pieces and they come in loads of colours as well. My personal favourites are the night dresses and the teddy outfits. The No Strings Attached mod. This mod, if you can't tell, gives your sims the chance to have non-committal, intimate relationships with each other. You'll get a new social pie menu that allows your sim to discuss the possibility of being friends with benefits. If both sims agree, then they can be as romantic as they like, but don't worry, they won't get jealous. Even if you get frisky with other sims, they won't consider each other as anything more than friends who bump uglies. All that being said, being a friend with benefits isn't completely risk-free. If your sim spends a lot of time together, they may risk developing feelings for each other and will be left wanting more. Thankfully though, there is the option to discuss the agreement together and possibly make things official if they want. You can also see how attached they are to each other with one of the pie menu options. This mod was made by the same creator of the Woohoo Wellness mod, so you know it's packed full of mood buffs, notifications, and interesting gameplay features. And if you want some romantic custom content, you might like the Valentine's Collection. This custom content is adorable, and I used a lot of it when I made my Sims Valentine's store. It's basically loads of Valentine's themed items, cards, mugs, and baked goods, Sadly, the food is not consumable, but they do make beautiful decor items if you're staging a set for a video. And if these decor items aren't enough to quench your thirst, then there is another CC collection, again Valentine's themed, but looks more like gifts that Sims would actually give each other, like picture frames, snow globes and boxed teddy bears. You might also like the Wonderful Whims mod. This mod is fantastic for romance. It introduces an attraction system where you can customise exactly what your sims are into. So for example, you could have a young adult sim who only fancies elder sims with ginger hair. You can also customise relationship settings like allowing polygamy, open relationships and more. There is so much to do with this mod, so I'll let you discover it for yourselves. The Pink Heart Coord set. This list includes everything. Every time I look at this outfit, I just think of date night and romance. So if you want it, you'll find the link in the video description. There's also this romantic pose pack. I always manage to squeeze in some kind of photo thing in most of the videos I make like this. So here's a pose pack you can use to take adorable couple pics to hang up on the wall. You'll need the Andrew Pose Player mod and teleport destination. And this isn't the only pose pack that has romantic poses. There are literally hundreds of free ones online. 
so have a look. And as a nice follow on from that one, we have Passionate Romance by Sacrificial, which includes romantic photo shoots. Your Sims can take romantic pictures together with the most extravagant props, including cars and hot air balloons. Your Sims will even get cute little buffs explaining how much they enjoyed the experience. Also, with Passionate Romance, you get a new social pie menu with loads of new interactions. Things like grind dance and make out are available, including the beloved goose interaction from The Sims 2. The only thing is with the interactions is that they can last quite a long time, and after a few seconds you do start to feel like a bit of a perv. But if you think you can handle that, then go for it and get Passionate Romance. This is more of a side note, but I recently found this strawberry wallpaper and I think it looks really good, especially if you're building a house with a Love Day theme, so I'll leave a link to it in the video description if you want it. This rose wall decor, just a build and buy object, but it's very pretty and looks good in pretty much any setting, whether it be for a romantic garden, a restaurant or a wedding venue, it always looks good to me. The Sugar Life mod. For those of you who prefer their Sims romantic lives to be more transactional, the Sugar Life mod allows Sims to have sugar daddies and sugar mummies, or indeed become sugar daddies or sugar mummies themselves. Your Sims can ask others if they'd like to enter into an agreement, and once agreed upon, your Sim can give or receive an allowance once a day. And they aren't tied to just one Sim, they can have multiple Sims paying their bills if they want. The Wedding Overhaul We've gone over a few things that cover your Sims finding love, but the next few things I mention will be for when they are ready to tie the knot. So what better place to start than with the Wedding Overhaul mod? This is one of the cutest mods I have played with for a long time. It really is adorable. Once your Sims become engaged, they'll have a range of new options available on the Wedding Social Pie menu. They can book themselves a wedding planner, try on wedding dresses, get a pre-wedding facial, get their nails done, apply for their wedding license and go see a lawyer and loads more. They can also use a computer to put together a wedding gift list, order wedding invitations, decorations and browse for wedding ideas. There are loads of new social interactions with other sims as well, like ask for other sims recommendations on venue locations, caterers and more. And you can also plan a honeymoon after your sims are married. This mod comes with all sorts of interactions and mood buffs, so enjoy! And if you're looking for some custom content to use to put together for your wedding ceremony, here are a couple of packs that you might find appealing. There is this wedding custom content set, a custom content pack made for weddings. This beautiful pack comes with a new wedding arch and a range of floral decor items that can make any wedding venue look grand. If you download this pack though, you'll have a challenge on your hands choosing a colour swatch because every one of them looks so good. And if this pack isn't enough for decking out your Sims wedding, you may as well get the Rustic Wedding Pack too. Another one that is loaded full of pretty wedding items. The style is more rustic than the other wedding pack, but they do pair together really nicely. And the good thing about this set is that the items also look good in your Sims home, so there are plenty of flower arrangements and lanterns that you can stick pretty much anywhere. The Slow Dance mod. This is a very sweet mod for couple sims. Finally, sims can slow dance together. A feature that you'd think we wouldn't need to have modded, but nope. I personally like having elder sims slow dance for no other reason than it just looks adorable. And finally, romantic sky gaze. There isn't really much to say about this one other than it just looks sweet, so it makes the list. So, there are a few mods and custom content pieces that add to your Sims romantic lives. I'd love to know in the comments which of these you like the sound of, and if you know of any more romantic mods that I may have missed, I'd love to know about them in the comments. I'm always looking for new mods to try. Have you tried these mods before? Which one is your favourite? But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!